welcome to the Magically Dyed Yarn Podcast. This is episode one. I'm Sam. I'm Steph. And we are the shop owners of Magically Dyed Yarns on Etsy. Yeah, so we are sisters, so to tell about how long we've known each other would be kind of ridiculous, but <laughs> I'm older. She's <laughs> a little bit older than I am. But. As you can tell, I had to not side part my hair today because I heard that's like super old. Is like people know you're old if you side part. Skinny jeans on the side part. I've got my skinny jeans on too. Whatever, I'm old. I'll embrace it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you can find us on Instagram. We are at Magically Dyed Yarns. We are also on Facebook with the same name, Magically Dyed Yarns. And we are working on creating a Ravelry group which will probably be called Magically Dyed Yarns as well. I just made it easy, right? It's so simple. That way you can find us. You're not trying to search all these funny names. No, one thing for everyone. And it is Magically Dyed Yarns. I have the everything set up. I just don't have anything in it. All those links will be down below. So just a little bit about our shop. So we recently opened as of recording. So it's Wednesday, May 12th. So we are, Etsy shop's been open for a week now. So we're very excited. And I decided to start dyeing my own yarns because, I mean, there's so many dyers out there and they dye beautiful, beautiful skeins of yarn, but they weren't quite what I was looking for. So I love Disney. Like our whole family loves Disney. So got my Ariel shirt on today. Yes, I would be wearing one, but nothing fits me right now because I am about five months pregnant. <laughs> so <laughs> nothing fits. <laughs> but so Disney has been a huge inspiration in our lives and there has been a couple dyers that I've seen that have Disney inspired colors, but they just, they weren't what I was looking for, or weren't what I wanted. And so I decided to start dyeing my own yarn and my sister was like, hey, let's do an Etsy shop. I think we could sell this. And I'm like, <laughs> I'll dye the yarn and make the things and you can deal with business, <laughs> which is what I like. I like the spreadsheets. Actually, I like to dye too. So she's been slowly kind of showing me how to do it. So um, she is definitely the brains behind your colorways. Um, and the names and everything. She'll bounce ideas off of me, but ultimately it ends up being her where I am definitely more of the hands-on shop owner part where I'm constantly checking the statistics or um, looking up ways to um, make things more, like make people more aware of our shop and our brand. And I'm just like, I wanna dye the yarn and I wanna make the things. <laughs> so that's a little bit about our business. So on this channel, I figured we'd make this a crafting channel as well as a place to showcase um, our new releases and our yarns. So we're going to be talking about, you know, like finished objects, what we have working on, and what we're planning on working on. And then since, I, because of what I wanted to do, every once a month we're going to showcase a different dyer that inspired us or taught us how to dye yarns on YouTube. Yeah, we spent, I spent a lot of time on YouTube, probably six hours one day, um, just watching or, or just listening to how people dye yarns, how to make it set right. Um, obviously, because we want to produce quality yarns and making sure your dyes aren't going to leak or things are evenly distributed throughout the yarn, um, just trying to find the best ways to do that. Yeah, so we're really excited. We hope you enjoy our channel and we're going to get started. We don't have any finished objects since this is episode one. But I finished the box of Oreos. Cookie! <laughs> Did you bring the box with you? <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're in the garbage. <laughs> so we're gonna start with our works in progress. <laughs> um, okay, so as a heads up, I am not a, I don't crochet very often. I have never knit anything except one like little square, but my husband picked it up fast and I did. I'll blame that on the fact that I'm left-handed, but ultimately it's because I have no follow-through and except if it's for food. Um, <laughs> with your box of Oreos. <laughs> my box of Oreos. <laughs> um, so when we talk about a works in progress, mine will probably this, be the same for a while, even though it is, um, I'll show you, we'll start, I'll start off. It's, it's this scarf. So this is actually a um, waffle stitch. Um, so I'll link the pattern in our, down below, um, that I found on Pinterest, and it's really beautiful, except when you've only crocheted two finished projects, and they were identical to each other, um, don't use black as your next color. Um, unfortunately, my husband is the one who picked this one out, and he really only likes black or gray, and so this is the yarn I found, and it's super soft, but it also like peels a lot, so I'm constantly- it's felting a lot. Oh, it's so bad, and I'm constantly ending up with these giant yarn balls, and it doesn't help because I'm so new to crocheting, 
that I am a perfectionist as well. So when I see things aren't even, I'll take them out like a hundred times and it just ruins my yarn. Um, but that's what I'm currently working on. She wants to get me progress markers so I can show you guys. Um, my project from week to week, but we'll see because it's been a couple weeks since I've actually worked on this. Um, I was playing Lego Harry Potter. You're a wizard, Harry. Well, it's just encouragement. <laughs> you go, or you can tell us your progress on Lego Harry Potter. I mean, that's totally um, fine almost too. done. <laughs> so I have been knitting and crocheting for I think it's nine years now. Um, so I'm a little more into it where I can see that my project is maybe looking a little wavy or things aren't lining up and I'm like okay and no if I keep working on it it'll be fine <laughs> so this is what I'm working on right now first I will always prob I probably will always have a pair of socks so this is currently my sock I'm working on I hope that focused I'm not sure if it did um, so this is Hermione's everyday sock pattern which we will leave a link to and then I am using um, this beautiful Gryffindor color it's not actually Gryffindor um, but it is sock yarn it is a 50% superwash merino 50% lyle cell and then it's fingering weight 100 grams 400 yard uh, yards I know some of these words and I'm using US one 2.25 millimeter needles to do my project and I just thought this was a great Gryffindor color like I said with the gold and the reds so I'm really excited these should probably be finished tomorrow I'm I only have the toe left so and then my second project is this hat you can see it it's the Oakley slouch hat by yarn and chai and I am using our dreams come true colorway in the fingering weight it's actually the sock set so this is the mini scheme. We'll have to work on focusing. <laughs> That's our mini scheme dreamer. It'll help when we actually have a stand instead of our makeshift. Yeah, so right now, so we forgot the stand for the, um, the camera, so right now it's sitting on a box of diapers. Anyway, so for this project, <laughs> it's the Oakley Slouch Hat, and I'm using a crochet hook, size E, uh, 3.5 millimeter. I really like how the purple went with that hat. I'm sorry to interrupt. I've never oh, yeah. seen those together before. Um, We've seen them in the skeins, obviously, but not worked up together. Yeah, and I just, I really like, so. like, even though that there's a little bit more blue in here, I like that that really goes well with the purple. Yeah, so we hope you like it. It's available in our shop. So that's all we're working on right now. Um, I will probably have my two projects finished by next week. I plan on casting on another pair of socks. I, <laughs> I love socks. <laughs> it's so much fun to knit. They just work up so quickly, and they are easy. They work up quickly for you. It yes. probably take me like three months to get them. The back. first, so the first pair of socks I made took me, I believe it was two months. So okay. I, I got my first sock set last year for my birthday from a friend. So she got me a sock set and my first pair of sock needles. And I swear it took me like <laughs> two months to do. Since then, I've gotten a lot faster. I've probably knit ten pairs of socks now. And they're just a lot of fun. They're my go-to project. They're so easy to pick up and work on. And just, they're beautiful. I will say though about that yarn, it's really soft, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna hold up. So I probably stick with um, a nylon blend. Like, so our sock yarn is 75% wool, 25% nylon, and it just seems like it's gonna hold up and last a little better. Which is great, because if you're like me and walk super heavy on your feet, you need socks that last. Yeah, so speaking of socks sets, Yes. We are going to show you guys our sock set that we absolutely love. It is a limited edition sock set, and it is our Italian summer sock set. I'm going to make them an offer to gamble with you. So this is inspired by the Disney Pixar film Luca coming in June, which is why it's a limited edition, because we wanted to kind of coincide with the release of the movie. Um, so our first color that we have here is Italian summer. So um, unfortunately, these only come in this. This one only comes as a sock set. So. Yeah, so this will be a 20 gram skein. Right now it's 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 in 100 grams, but we're gonna break it down into 20 grams. So always the sock set. Beautiful Italian summer color is a mix of our blues and our greens. Um, and the reason we chose these colors is because it really reminded us of Italy, and well, specifically reminded Sam of Italy because she's actually been there and was able to see those 
beautiful blue waters. My husband's family's from Sicily, so we went a couple years ago to visit some family down there and over there, down there. <laughs> Geographically down challenged. There for us. <laughs> And so, so we're anyways. based out of Wisconsin, so yeah. everything is down. Um, so, and if you've never been to see those kind of very blue waters, like, you know, the pictures just don't do them justice, but we did try to capture them in the, in the skein. Um, and so it's just really pretty. And this is our other color. So the purple just goes so well with it. Um, and this one is our sea monkey color. So it's just this very beautiful purple um, that just pairs so nicely with this color. So I watched the, um, the trailer for the new movie Luca. Um, these were the colors of the two friends. Um, one was a green blue sea monkey, sea monster, I'm sorry, it's a sea monster, I've learned. And then the other one was a purple. And I just thought they were so beautiful together. Those colors were so pretty. So we decided to make this beautiful sock set for you to try to capture those colors. This is my favorite sock set that we've dyed so far just because I do love the blue, green, and purple colors. Um, those are just my personal favorite. Um, but it, this this time around, we've had a lot of purples because I think that's the colors that we both like and are kind of drawn to. Yeah, it just, they worked with a lot of the different themes that we <laughs> had this month. But yeah. we're coming up with more ones. Yeah, yes. that'll be very different. Um, some more <laughs> summery colors. Um, so keep an eye out. We're gonna be slowly introducing them probably at the end of the month. And we will give you a quick little, oh, here's uh, what we're doing, but those will be released in June. So we wanted to showcase and highlight some of the people that really inspired us and what we're doing now. So the first shop that we are gonna talk about is this one, it's called Hue Loco. No, no. <laughs> Hopefully this works. <laughs> so Hue Loco, she has, three, she's got a couple videos, but for her yarn dyeing, uh, she has three videos. So she teaches you how to dye a tonal, a variegated, and a speckled. And this is her marshmallow colorway. And I love it. I've been craving toasted marshmallows. Like I'm just dying to start a fire and roast some marshmallows. <laughs> so I had to get it because I'm like, I want marshmallows. So I watched her videos over and over and over again to learn how to dye my own yarn. They're really great. They're really easy to watch. So yeah, yeah. if you're ever interested, I would definitely encourage you to watch her videos. And then I also got this really cute bag. So this is her chicken project bag. Um, I got it because my husband keeps telling me that we should get chickens, but I don't want chickens. So next week, hopefully, we will have some finished finished objects for you guys to see. Um, <laughs> I will have two, and then I'll probably have at least two more. I'm actually working on a baby blanket as well right now. I'm crocheting it, and but it's a gift for someone, so I can't show you. When it's done, I'll show it though. Um, I have a cross stitch I started last March, like a year and a half, like a, a year <laughs> and a few months ago, and the same friend who got her into stuff knitting was super like she wants me to be crafty and I keep trying but she got me this cool like punched like um oh yeah your yarn punch I had a yarn punch thing which is super cool and so I started much fun. and then I like I don't know I have follow through issues so just do it nothing is impossible I'm working on it that's another good thing about this podcast though like we can keep showing you guys progress from week to week and also like don't feel intimidated because I clearly know very little about what I'm doing but it is a learning process and so like if she's saying things that are super confusing I'm probably gonna look at her like she's insane because I have no idea what she's talking about to be honest um, but I, I try to explain it to her I really do so I'm always like if you have any questions you can always ask like, no, okay. and I do. I do. It just sometimes it's taken me a while to click, but that's okay because, like, you know, if you're new to crocheting or knitting or if you've been doing it for a while, like, there we have people on both ends of the spectrum where I just started and she's been doing it for almost a decade. Um, I mean, and we've grown up seeing crochet projects, like our grandma yeah. crochets, and I think that was one of the first times I was ever introduced to crochet was watching her when I'd go over to her house constantly, like, knitting and crocheting and hearing the click, click, click. <laughs> There's lots of really good YouTube tutorials on how to get started. Um, mm -hmm. Things I would recommend for sock knitting, uh, The Crazy Sock Lady. She's got some really great, easy to follow tutorials. Um, Nitty Natty, who I just introduced Stephanie to because yeah. she has some videos about left-handed crochet, which will be great for me because I'm trying to follow people along and I'm like, wait a second, that's 
not how it works for me. Yeah, and so okay. one of my next projects is gonna be a screpa, which is a brioche cowl, and she has some brioche tutorials that I will be watching over and over and over again until I brioche figure out how to do it. It makes me think of bread. I know, me too, but it's so pretty. Guys, so. I like to eat. That's probably what I'll talk about the most is the food that I consume. <laughs> my husband cooks a lot, he's pretty good at it. So the other one for knitters, if you want to get into knitting, um, Very Pink Knits has great close-up tutorials on how to get started in knitting and pretty much everything you would need to be a knitter. So she's really great too. So we'll leave links to everyone's pages down below. Yeah, for you to be a you know YouTube channel full of other people's stuff. Which is fine. <laughs> I mean, we're creators. Well, we're attempting to be creators. <laughs> and so we want to showcase like, yeah. other creators. Like, I'm fine with that. The great thing about all of these videos and about yarn dyeing in general is everyone has a different way of doing it and it's great yeah. to see them and I want to showcase those people too mm -hmm. since they inspired me like hopefully we inspire you yeah. and then we've given you the tools to learn how to do things yeah and um, so we really hope that you enjoy our yarn um, she does take a lot of pride in her dyeing so like I dye stuff but it has to go through her quality check to make sure it's you know, at least similar enough to what we've already dyed because you know with hand dyed yarn not everything's going to be identical but um so she works really hard to make sure things are looking the way she wants them or the vision that she has towards them um just because we've been inspired so much by disney we want to inspire you guys as well and really capture those you know things that um you know keep bringing you back there or just to help you really relive those memories so we hope you enjoy our channel. If you do, give us a like, a comment, and a subscribe to our channel to be notified when we have new videos going up, which hopefully will be every week. <laughs> and also, you guys can find us on Facebook, Instagram, um, check out all of our websites, you know, subscribe to those as well, because we'll be posting other updates and pictures as well as some more behind the scenes stuff. And we'll see you next week on the Magically Dyed Yarn Podcast. <laughs>